Hey everybody, Dawny from DrawingWord.com with another drawing video, and today we'll be learning how to draw a rhino in the simplest and easiest way. Be sure to get yourself a pencil, paper, and eraser to prepare for this tutorial, and don't forget to click the link in the video description to get the full tutorial at DrawingWord.com. Hope you guys enjoy this one, stay tuned for more. Hey everyone, welcome to a new tutorial on how to draw a rhino. I'll break down this animal in simple steps, so prepare yourself with a pencil, paper, and eraser to get started. Here I have step one, which is my basic guide work to build the structure of the rhino. I usually start from head to toe to lessen the complexity. Let's state all my guidelines so I can draw the future ones more prominent, like this. I'm going to proceed on and make a second step, and this is going to be on the rhino's shape of his head. And rhinos, they have snouts very similar to giraffes. Alright, so now I got this long shape that curves inwards and below it is a bottom mouth piece. This works up into a larger part, which is the jawline. This is where the eye is going to be placed. Make a third step. This is going to be on the rhino's facial details like the eyes. And the eyes have lots of wrinkles around it and it looks like it's in some kind of pouch. I'm going to draw an eye white around the eye. And not an eye is not completely void. A few lashes. I'm going to add some wrinkles beneath it. Afterwards, I'm going to move down to the nose, which is a large open space and a few wrinkle definition. And clean that up nice. Step four, and this is going to be on the two horns on the rhino's snout. And the horns vary depending on how old the rhino is. You can have cracked horns, which resembles a more older rhino, or you can have a completely worn down horn, which resembles an even older rhino. So keep that in mind. Here I used a few definition lines to shape up the horns pretty nicely. Step five, and this is going to be on the ears, which are very similar to giraffes or hippos. And have a few wrinkles around it. Go ahead and draw the left ear and move on to the large neck, which is sort of sectioned off in three regions. And it's like a thick mass where the base of the limbs are going to be placed. Alright, so that is my fifth step. I want to make step six. And this is going to be on the body shape for the rhino. And the rhino has a lot of mounded regions that create the whole top part of this rhinoceros. And the legs, they get thinner and turn into three nubs. There's three toes for each foot of our rhino. And I'm going to do the same by creating a overlaying pouch that covers the top shoulder blade of this rhino. And most rhinos usually have that. Their skin is very thick to serve as armor. I'll go ahead and finish off this rhino. Step seven, and this is the last step, and this is going to be on the remaining limbs as well as some of the toes the rhino, some backdrop ones. And a scruffy looking tail, just very simple. And 
now we're finishing the extra details for the rhino. The rhinos, they all have visible ribs. So that's a good trick to keep in mind. And add some extra wrinkles here. Finish off this toe, the nails. I'm going to hide my guides, and I have myself a nice looking rhino. Be sure to tweak your lines, we'll be ready to color your drawing. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to check out Dragwatt Official, official YouTube channel for the latest drawing videos, and dragwatt.com for the latest drawing tutorials. Don't forget to click the link in the video description to get this full tutorial at dragwatt.com with a few tips and tricks to guide you on how to draw different types of rhinos. Thanks for viewing, and have fun.